Welcome to Nathan's Armory. I'm Nathan. So uh, the Reverend Jesse Jackson uh, got on Fox the other day and said that assault weapons had to be taken care of because they are a danger to national defense. That people can shoot down airplanes and blow up railroads with them. And <laughs> he actually said the shoot down airplanes thing in a couple other interviews too. The railroad thing was totally new. Uh, but let's just think about this concept. Okay, A, it's never happened, but B, is it even possible? I mean, I'm doing a little Mythbusters thing here for you using my kids' toys. So, uh, you're in an airplane, you're taking off, and guess what? You have to be outside the airport to have a gun. So, you're down here somewhere at the end as the plane's taking off, and you shoot up at this plane. Well, this plane is traveling at least 160 miles an hour by the time it takes off and gaining speed. Uh, so it's going almost as fast as a NASCAR, okay? You're shooting at this flying object going as fast as a NASCAR, and you're throwing chunks of metal at it this size. A, you have to know how properly to lead the, the moving target, but secondly, even if these things hit it, they're not going to take it down, okay? Um, perfect case is you can watch all sorts of old uh, shows where anti-aircraft fires flying up into the air at airplanes, and that, those bullets actually hit the airplanes flying in on invasions, and they typically don't go down. And we're talking about anti-aircraft bullets that are throwing things the size of my fist into the airplane, not something the size of my, my pinky fingernail. Okay, they're throwing giant chunks of lead into these airplanes, and they're still staying up. So, again, the idea that you can shoot down a plane with a semi-automatic shoulder-fired weapon is impossible. Uh, you need a missile for that, or you need... Uh, something that rides on a, a tank or truck that shoots fully automatic anti-aircraft rounds. Again, nobody has that. That's not a problem. Okay, so then he said, I can blow up railroads with this. Ooh, railroads. Have you ever seen a train, Jesse? Have you ever actually been at a, a train stop, watched a train go by? Uh, they're not small things, and they're made out of solid steel. Okay. So who here thinks that if I decided to go after a bulldozer with an AR-15 assault rifle or an AK-47 variant, that I could blow up a bulldozer with one of these? Uh, it's not going to happen. A bulldozer is 20 tons of steel. I can't take it out with small arms and munitions. Okay, well, let's switch to a train. A train is... 10 times the weight of a bulldozer. And that's not even the train cars behind it. That's just the locomotive is 200 tons. You're in an SUV that is two tons. This is 200 tons. That's 100 times more than your SUV weighs. And I would be hard pressed to drop an SUV out of commission with one of these unless I knew what I was doing. So the idea that you can blow up railroads with uh, 223 ammunition or uh, 7 6 uh, by 39 is just hilarious to me. I mean, anything short of a tank uh, isn't going to stop a train. Uh, and last I checked, uh, tanks weren't uh, something they're trying to ban. So, anyway, uh, just I wanted to make this video. I'm sorry I'm laughing so much, but it really does crack me up when the anti gunners are talking so far out of their rear ends and their, their knowledge base, and then they repeat themselves. I mean, he said it more than once. Assault rifles are, are danger to national defense because you can shoot down planes with them. He said it like a month ago in an interview. He's saying it again. Now he's saying it blows up railroads. It just is hilarious. I mean, can they not come up with a factual argument that is good on their side that they have to just make up ludicrous, incredible ideas? All right, so uh, I'll include a link to that video in case you want to watch uh, Reverend Jesse make a, a jerk out of himself. So anyway, as always, uh, God bless America and... Long live the Republic.